Hi everyone, my name is Joseph. So, one may have noticed that there's a bit of a different release schedule for Digimon Liberator, the comics uh, portion. If you go to the website, you'll see that part 2 of episode 7 has released, but unfortunately episode 8, rather than coming out on a bi-weekly basis, so give me a quick second, rather than coming out on the 30th, uh, excuse me, on the 7th of November, it's going to be coming out on the 14th of November. So again, this week's Thursday is October 31st, with the following uh, Thursday being November 7th. That's when we, ooh, excuse me, my cat bit my chin. <laughs> That's when we usually would have gotten the next chapter or the next episode, pardon me, but it won't be coming until the 14th. So because of this, usually even with the regular release schedule, there's a, a week where I don't have a video to talk about Liberator, unless I make just a general video like I did um, not last week but or maybe it was last week so part of me I do ask for your patience I am aware that a new chapter did release but I'm hoping that uh, the uh, novel portion will be updated next week so then the next week I could do a comic video and then the following week I could do a novel video so just to just, just make it a bit more uh, streamlined for my end hopefully that makes sense and hopefully that explanation uh, is a uh, uh, well that it makes logical sense as well right part of me my cat have a lot of things in front of me because although I'm not going to be talking and talking about Digimon Liberator I am still going to be talking about Digimon so give me a quick second everyone I'm going back to the regular video so I know I didn't do a video for the wave 2 of the pendulum color so I decided to just go ahead and do uh, it should have been two videos and make them into one video and that's I'm going to go ahead and discuss the pendulum uh, color wave 2 and also the Digivice color evolution uh, two versions um, so yeah so first let's start with the pendulum color since these came out a while ago already. I know some people still haven't gotten their orders because there's two separate waves, I believe, for the pendulum color. But I really did take them out of the boxes. So here's uh, Nature Spirits. I believe it's called Nature Spirits. Let me quickly double check that. Wind Guardian. I'm glad I double checked that. <laughs> Nature Spirits. Oh, that's the white blue one. Excuse me. This is uh, Wind Guardian. So this is the. Let me go back to the video as well so I could see, make sure I'm displaying the box. So this is Wind Guardian. This is the one with Terramon, who's the special guest. And again, uh, when Guardian, it, oops, oh, my cat's like knocking my hand into everything. <laughs> uh, this is how the actual device looks. So I have only turned it on to, to do the uh, special connection. So I then, I do have a uh, child level Digimon, uh, but it's in the fridge and I haven't charged it. Is it still on? No, it looks like it finally died. When I first got it, I didn't uh, turn it on at all. Or rather, excuse me, I didn't charge it at all. I just uh, turned it on right away, uh, raised to the child level, and went ahead and battled between other devices to go ahead and get those backgrounds. I did that with all six, uh, uh, with both waves. So now all my devices have all six backgrounds. When one does that, you do get a special uh, commemoration for that. Actually, does do you get that? Um, I should probably double check. You do get a special one for three of, of one wave. Uh, but maybe that second picture that I caught, that I got was actually for the Wave 2, not the All uh, Wave. So pardon me about that information, that last bit that I just said may be incorrect. But to reiterate, you do get a special background for the very least for completing One Wave, uh, One Wave's backgrounds collection. Um, so yeah, so that's the Nature Guardian. Excuse me again, my cat's in front of me, so it's kind of hard to navigate. But because she's my cat and I love her, uh, I'm going to give her patience. Hopefully you guys will give her patience too. So this one is, uh, oh great, I just had the, um, good thing I have the website, pardon me everyone, Virus Busters, that's right. <laughs> I thought it was going to be cut something like Holy Holy Guardian or something like that, and uh, uh, pardon me, it is the morning, so, and my cat distracted me. Um, so this is Virus Busters, I guess I'll do this one last because this is actually the one that I'm working on right now. Uh, so we'll look at Metal Empire next, excuse me, we're going to get my cat her tail, there we go. So this is the box for Metal Empire. With Metal Greymon in the front. Actually, I should have said, do I... Oops, my cat is just being a menace. Um, oh, Vigermon. This has Vigermon at the front. I was worried I wouldn't know their name by memory. Going back to Metal Greymon and Metal Empire. So this is the red and black device. Who's in the side of this one? I can't recognize him, excuse me. I'm still a new VPET user. But surely, but surely, I'm really starting to start um, appreciating the VPets for what they have to offer. Uh, I'll, I'll discuss a little bit more about that, but you see my previous videos, I kind of have discussed that already in the past as well. So, not something completely new. So, oops, again, my cat, she's just a menace. Wherever my hand goes, she just wants to go 
and follow it. Um, excuse me. Oh, here we go. <laughs> My cat's torso this time was hiding the device. So here's how the device looks like properly, just like with just like with Nature uh, Spirit, Nature Wind Garden. Excuse me. I've already turned it on. Let's see if the battery. No, this one's also died unfortunately. But just like with Nature Spirit, I made sure to turn it on right away as soon as it came in. I did the conditions to meet. I did the conditions that were needed to go ahead and meet what uh, I did the conditions that were needed to meet the requirements for acquiring the wallpaper. Excuse me, I was stumbling over my words right there. Uh, but let me go ahead and show it off one more time. I'm not show sure it off, that sounds kind of selfish and negative. Um, display it. I suppose I didn't really do that as completely with the Wind Guardian one, so. I'm not gonna lie, the coloring for the Wind Guardian one is, I really like it. I really wanna like Deep Savers, but that blue, I'm not the biggest fan of that shade of blue. And the orange, the combination of that orange with the blue, uh, I mean, I don't hate it, but I also don't love it. Um, but yeah, so then the last box is Virus Busters. This is the one with um, uh, Magna Anjimon at the front. So this is the one that I know a lot of fans actually call the anime device because this one has most of the Digimon from the anime. For example, those Agumon, Gabumon, and then we even have Gammon from Digimon Ghost Game as well. I feel like I went a bit more quickly with this one um, with weird angles as well, so excuse me. But then even on the, on the side, we have a uh, War Greymon and, and uh, Metal Gururumon. And of course, with that being said, I think that's a great segue to state, who do I have on my device? I went ahead and put them in the fridge because I'm going to start working on a new Digimon. Probably Gammon, uh, but of course I have Omega Mon. I just got him yesterday, so this means that I did War Greymon and Metal Gururumon. I wanted to do Gabumon first, but by accident because I was doing all three, well technically, uh, three devices I was raising from scratch, and then the other three I do have Digimon that are child level saved uh, on the code system, the, for the fridge system. Um, so I'm going to say three and a half uh, V pets at the same time because again, those I wasn't really raising, but I was battling with them. I made the mistake. I was supposed to get more care mistakes, but I wasn't bad enough, and my first Digimon was Agumon. At first, I was a little bit disappointed because I do like Gabumon, but I also do like Agumon, so it wasn't too much of a huge uh, uh, dampering to my mood. But I do have Omegamon, and I got him yesterday, and again, my next plan is to go ahead and acquire uh, Gammon. Uh, besides that, so those are how... Oh, I haven't even shown the uh, virus brushes. Excuse me, it probably didn't show because this one is inside a silicone case. Whichever device that I'm currently using, I always put into the silicone case. I have four of these silicone cases. Um, excuse me. I, oops, excuse me. Everyone, that was my cat. She knocked over something. I have two uh, that glow in the dark. Uh, that glow that uh, that glow blue in the dark. Excuse me, and another two that glow green in the dark. And um, they're, they're pretty decent. I do enjoy them. The other one I do have with me was uh, Nightmare Soldier, since this is the device I was using before my Wave 2 came in. I was doing my best to complete this device. Um, this one is not dead, but uh, since I did accomplish my uh, my raise go with this device, it is close to dying, unfortunately, the, the device. Excuse me, that was a hiccup. Let me take out my Digimon from the storage. But I have Weissmon. Or Kalismon. Excuse me, I have Kalismon. I believe this is Kalismon. Uh, the route that I went with this was with uh, Pico Devimon, Devimon, uh, Devimon, and then my oldest Mon. I forgot Devimon's name for I forgot Devimon's name for a second. <laughs> it really is too early in the morning. Uh, but yeah, so I am going to put aside my Nightmare Surges for a bit. I still have the silicone case on it because I do want to complete the um, the album. Let me quickly share. I think I only have so. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I only have six more Digimon that I need to uh, raise, and then I'm going to go ahead and be done, have Nightmare Soldiers completed. So again, I just wanted to bring this one over because this was the one that I was utilizing before Wave 2 came out. And um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie, I did kind of get pendulum out because of the fact that I've been using the pendulums for quite a while before the colors came out. Uh, completely even before the wave one I was using the pen 20 uh, the nightmare searchers pen 20 because I was excited for Logomon So I was trying to complete that album. Give me a second. I'm trying to put my uh, Kalismon back into the fridge and since I have been playing uh, utilizing the uh, Pendulum V pets quite often it did get me to the hankering of using my DM Exus again or just a brick 
Digimon. So I did turn on my DMX V, uh, DMX V3. Is it V3? DMX3, excuse me. On. And right now I only have Ryudomon. He's in the fridge right now because I was focusing on the uh, my Wind Guardians. Uh, but now that I'm done with that, I will be turning back on my Ryudomon and continuing forward with the DMX. Um, but yeah, so that's been my, um, his not history, but that's what I've been engaging with when it comes to the V-Pets. Pardon me for not doing its own separate video. Hopefully it makes sense why I didn't do so. And, um, but yeah, that's the Wave 2. Uh, let's go ahead and discuss. These ones I'm going to go go ahead and go through a bit more quickly. I suppose I'll do these ones in its own specific video and uh, really show them to you guys. And to be frank, I think this is a good way to end this video anyways because as much as you can see, uh, they're still inside their boxes. I did open them, uh, but I haven't removed them yet because if one recalls, I believe I did do a video for this one. I do have the version complete. I want to complete this one before I move on to um, the color versions. I do have, I'm working on Biomon right now. I'm still getting the hang of it because uh, I'm, I'm done with um, Gomamon, Agumon, and Gabumon. Uh, Biomon, unfortunately, she's in a high level area and she's really getting her arse kicked right now. So, But then I realized I could walk around with Gabumon and do the first couple battles with Gabumon and then switch on over to Biomon. And as long as I push the button quickly enough, or uh, numerously enough, I should be good to go in that regard. So, again, I would go ahead and introduce it, but I won't go into uh, detail. Uh, I'll save that for another video. I didn't realize talking about the Wave 2 would take about 10 minutes, so that was kind of a pleasant surprise, I suppose. Uh, but here's the Digivice uh, 25th Color Evolution. And I still have it inside the box. I did try to take it off, but it's nice and snug in there. And since I'm not going to utilize it quite yet, that's why I'm going to leave it in here for the time being. But I am definitely planning on utilizing this. Again, I just want to complete the version. Uh, the ver I just want to complete the version complete. Let me use another uh, word instead. I just want to... Um, um, I just want to... Um, fully go through the version complete before opening the Digimon Color device, a uh, Color Evolution device. <laughs> Thank you everyone for your patience. I was uh, thinking about which synonym to use. And then with this box, we of course have the Digivice 25 Color Evolution. Uh, can anyone guess? I don't know if you guys are able to see. Uh, you kind of can't see. But because you didn't see, can anyone guess which version that I got? Uh, yes, I got the Yamato version. The Yamato with Gabumon. <laughs> Again, I, I do love Gabu. I do love Agumon. And I still do enjoy Tachi, but between Yamato and Tachi, I just really appreciate and uh, adore Yamato's characterization. And between Agumon and Gabumon, I like the both of them mostly equally. Definitely the discrepancy between Yamato and Taichi is not equal between Agumon and uh, Gabumon. But with that being said, if I do, if I did have to choose, uh, Gabumon definitely takes the cake for me. My One of my favorite scenes with Gabumon is, uh, well, two favorite scenes is going to be when Yamato uh, was cold and shivering. And Gabumon takes off his little pelt and gives it to Yamato to help warm him. Um, and then my second favorite scene, this might be my first favorite scene. Um, and that's from Digimon Adventure uh, Try when Gabumon tells Yamato that he wants to be there with him to help him with his children and stuff And it's so cute. I just love it so much that scene and uh, of course when Gabumon is opening up to Yamato who's looking through the uh, uh, The screen door not the screen door, but a glass door. It's the rest of the Digimon being uh, noisy and stuff but anyways thank you so much for your patience everyone to reiterate I'm not doing a liberator video because of the fact that the next comic uh, um, episode won't be coming out in two weeks bi-weekly but rather will be coming out in three weeks so instead of coming out November 7th it's going to release November 14th and so just to mitigate that gap of lack of discussion for um, Liberator I'm doing my best to kind of make it efficient I knew a new chapter did come out already but hopefully my rationale hopefully my reasoning makes sense but please do let me know if you prefer me to do uh, just keep up with the release schedule I'll go ahead and do so well, if you guys don't mind, as long as I have Digimon content on Sunday, then I'll go ahead and do this instead. Again, thank you for engaging with, uh, with me, everyone. I really do appreciate it. Have a great day and take care.